and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Welcome to Clifton Lane and welcome to your third half. So, an easier, an easier win for us this week, thankfully. Um, but still, still our fault. And credit to Tyndale, the, the fault into the second half. They could have, could have rolled over and uh, given up at half time. But they didn't, they came back, they scored two nice tries against us. And uh, they made it a bit awkward in the second half. But thankfully, the guys came through. Uh, a five point win, that's going to be worth it. Me. Do you feel more of those before Christmas? Uh, your chairman's had to disappear, so Andrew Chairman's choice today. <laughs> but the chairman did pick who we were picking, so boo! <laughs> uh, according to Nick, it was a very close run thing between number nine, number eight, and number two. But um, in the end, he thought that. Um, the number eight, Henry Wainwright, just aged it, so the Tyndale man of the match is Henry Wainwright. Number two, number two were closest. Just find it. Well, hang on. When we get our ladder. Alright, so so we've got somebody to stand in for Henry because Henry's gone. Uh, I'm now going to ask Chairman of the uh, Time Dale, John Eustis, to come up and tell us a bit about his man of the match for Rotherham. John Eustis. <laughs> Thanks very much. Um, First thing I'd like to say is obviously thanks for the hospitality. It's been, it's been a wonderful day, uh, apart from the result. Uh, but everyone has been made us uh, feel so welcome. So I appreciate it. It's been 30 years since we were last together uh, in the two clubs. Uh, the previous two games that we have played, we were also lost. So we're keeping our firm. I'd also like to say I'm tremendously proud of our lads today. We had a, we had a bad result last week and it could have gone sour, but the lads really dug in. Uh, so I'm very proud of the Tango boys who took on uh, the pitch today. Thank you. The, uh, the, the, our nomination, or my nomination, I, I wanted to pick the number 17, the, the, the old fellow over there with the green hair. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I picked the boy that looked the most knackered at the end of the game, which was number four, Matt Chalmer. Yeah. 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 Like to comment on the game for um, equally competitive game, I thought um, Tiny put us under a lot of pressure. Um, in the second half, it was probably the, the, the tide had turned and it was all them to be honest. So I think they deserve a lot of credit, but I think we deserve a little bit from sticking to what we're good at. But the backs played really well, they're really dangerous, um, got the five points, and I'm really happy with it. Thank you. Take down, Matt. Oh, no, no, Right, so I'm now going to ask Director of Rugby, Martin Jenkinson, to come up and say a few words about what's been going on. Mr Jenkinson. Yeah, um, I suppose first things first, I want to say well done to Tyndale. Congratulations Tyndale, it's a decent trip for you boys today. Thanks for coming down. You're the proper rugby club. I can remember playing, it's 30 years since you came here, 
but I can remember playing at Tynedale longer ago than that. I can remember it's a hospital in Hexham because I remember having the best part of the night in there when I got a boot in the eye. Um, but well done. Make sure you get enough wins. I'm sure you will get enough wins to stay in this league this year. So well done, boys. Listen to the Rotherham. To the Rotherham supporters, again, many thanks for turning out, as you always do, in numbers. It means such a lot to the lads. We live in interesting times. Um, we've had a, a weird, weird, weird what, fortnight now, obviously changing coaches, the Covid business, a new coach coming in, not being able to train with the squad, or certainly not the full squad. So, you know, the boys today, if we needed excuses, we, we would have, could have had scores of excuses. But we dug in, we got the result. Tyndale made it very hard in the second half. We, could, we couldn't get going, but we managed, to, we managed to get the points. Today was all about a five point win, and we got it. Anything else after that really was irrelevant. <laughs> what I'm gonna do now is hand you over to Adam Byron, Everybody I have learned refers to him as Baz. So Baz, the new head coach at Rotherham Titans. Okay. You, you, should we get the burn out of the way? I am from Sheffield, so I'm sorry. <laughs> at least it's South Yorkshire at least. So no, I'm, honestly, uh, what a welcome from you guys, it's been uh, honestly a real pleasure. Obviously it's been a little bit broken in terms of, uh, I've only actually met some of the players today. Uh, obviously we've had issues with the COVID etc from there, but everyone I've met so far and I'm sure that will continue has been really welcoming, so I can't thank you enough for that. I am tremendously excited to be honest. Uh, obviously I'm a South Yorkshire boy myself. Uh, and th this is the club that I really wanted to come and coach. And when, the when Martin called with the opportunity obviously, uh, I, I grasped at it and said yes, absolutely. So, very much looking forward to working with the backroom staff, everyone here. Looking forward to get to know the supporters, on to work with the players. And thank you for your support so far. Looking forward to a good season. Thank you. So that's it as far as the formal parts go. Uh, next week we're away at Loughborough, so it's not too far down the M1 for anybody who can. Uh, get away and come down and uh, make the the extra man for us and then back here in two weeks for a, a game against Huddersfield so uh, look forward to seeing you then thanks so much for your support today and a safe journey home see you in two weeks thank you